Yo, what is up guys? Stellboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So, Javonta Davis versus Frank Martin has been announced for the 15th of June. Takes place at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. I believe this fight's going to be on pay-per-view. I believe this fight is at lightweight. And I'm assuming Tank Davis is defending his WBA regular title. Not even sure if he is still the regular champion or whether he's been elevated to full champion. I'm assuming there's going to be a title on the line here. Now, what do I think of this fight? Now, when I look at this fight on paper, I'm left with a feeling that we've been here before. What I mean by that is Frank Martin is an okay fighter. He's solid. He's decent. Uh, okay fundamentals. You know, does the basics well. I actually respect where he's come from, started boxing late, I believe at 18 years old, and you know, especially at the lighter weight classes, if you if you start boxing late and do anything, it's very impressive, so the fact he's got to this level, I take my hat off to Frank Martin, and he, like I said, he does the basics well, he's got a decent jab, he's got decent one-two, um, he takes care of himself okay, but you look at Frank Martin... And while he does have decent all-round fundamentals to a certain degree, he is pretty ordinary in the grand scheme of things when you look at the lightweight division. He doesn't have any outstanding attributes. He's not a massive puncher. He doesn't appear, like, super strong. He's not the quickest guy in the world. There's no X factor to his game. There's no dynamism. And ultimately... I feel like we've seen Tank fight these guys before. Guys like Mario Barrios, um, Hector Luis Garcia, guys like that, you know. Who are, like I said, decent, solid, but nothing special. Um, I feel like this fight is going to play out similar to previous Tank fights. As in, you know, Tank in the early rounds doesn't do much of anything. He's kind of uh, mulling around, seeing what his opponent has like he was doing against Roly Romero, for example. And, you know, we saw Roly Romero win some rounds early on in that fight. Early on, you can win rounds against Tank. You don't have to be a great fighter to win rounds against Tank early on. And I think Frank Martin has decent, decent enough fundamentals, a decent enough jab to, to possibly win some early rounds against Tank. Wouldn't be surprised after four rounds or so if people have Frank Martin up. The issue is for Frank Martin, and we saw this in his fight, in his last fight against the Armenian dude, uh, Haratunian. You know, it was a competitive fight, and Frank Martin never really upped for pace. He never really separated himself from Haratunian. And that's, that's my issue with Frank Martin. He does the basics, but it doesn't look like there's anything above that kind of thing. If things get tough, or if he gets to a certain level... He doesn't appear the type of fighter to be able to adjust or find another level kind of thing. And say what you want about Tank. You know, he's got that one-punch power. He's got the ability to counter, to take advantage of your flaws. And against a guy like Frank, who started late, who does have certain holes in his game, who does lack experience, I think as this fight plays out, those openings are going to be there for Tank. And eventually he's going to catch Frank and knock him out. I feel like we've seen this fight before. A guy fights Tank, does well, wins a few rounds, then gets knocked out. I feel like we've been here before. Um, you know, Frank Martin is saying the right things. You know, uh, seems to have ambition. We'll see if he carries that to the ring. Had a bit of beef with Tank in the press conference. So, you know, maybe he's trying to get in Tank's head. I don't know. He certainly doesn't appear intimidated, which is good. And I hope he goes in there and, and tries to win this fight. I think he I think he has success early on, but I think when he gets caught, you, he'll feel it and he'll get stopped more than likely. Um, but yeah, I, I, kind of, I kind of have a soft spot for Frank Martin. I think he's done well to get where he has, considering the late start. Um, but I don't think it's going to be enough against Tank. Overall, you know... The Ryan Garcia fight was over, well, yeah, over a year ago now. Obviously, Tank won that fight, 
and it was a big deal at the time in regards to hype and attention. Tank hasn't really capitalised on that, so going from that sort of event to this sort of fight is a little disappointing, has to be said, and, you know, the fact Tank's been out for so long is also disappointing. You, you have to build on that sort of momentum when you get it, and I don't think Tank has, so we're back to this sort of opponent, which is which is disappointing, but listen, I'm hoping for a good fight, I'm hoping for a competitive fight, and and I'm hoping us fans win, you know, that's really it, but I'll keep an eye on it, I'll keep an eye on it, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens, it's an okay fight, it's okay, but nothing special, that's how I see it, but anyway, share your thoughts below, Beanie Guy Delboy, peace.